Hello students, a very good evening to all of you. My name is Ashutosh as you all know and again we are here with a very interesting topic of physics and today I am going to tell you about an interesting concept along with a very interesting trick that how to determine that uh, which medium is that. Like uh, basically what I saw, most of the students get confused with this part Sir, how to decide which one is a denser medium or which one is a rarer medium? And what is going to be happen when the light is going to pass from denser to rarer or rarer to denser medium? So we are going to learn this in a very interesting way with some tricks. So I hope you all are ready for that. Let's start this. So the topic, as you can see, not the laws of refraction. But yes, we are going to talk about the refraction of light. How refraction is happening basically what is happening when it is passing from one media to another media and all those things so let's quickly talk about it and if you are having any confusions any doubts anything which you want to ask me you can definitely ask it to me in the comment box okay so i hope you all are ready let's see this talking about refraction i hope you all know about refraction what is refraction but let me give you a quick recap of the refraction so, the bending of light from its path in passing from one medium to the other medium, that is known as refraction. So, in a simple word, I can say what I can I simply define it that when light from medium to another medium is passing, then the changes in the path that are deviated from its original path, se, that is known as refraction of light. You can see a simple example also here. Light is coming from substance 1 to substance 2. That substance 1 and substance 2 can be anything. Air to water, glass to water, water to glass, oil to water, any medium. But there will be the difference in the refractive index will be there. Right? Then only the refraction is going to be happen. And we know that if one medium oil, one medium water, hai, to the speed of light definitely alag hogi, Right? So what is going to be happen when the light is passing from one medium to another medium? If you see the original path of light, this will be the original path, making the dotted line. There is a deviation and this deviation is known as refraction. Now, the main thing why we are here to understand first that why this refraction is happening, correct? So as I already just gave you the hint, this is happening because of the change in our speed of light, correct? So always remember, there is a concept which says that light always selected the shortest path to travel, okay? And what is happening here, in these cases, this is a rarer medium, this is a denser medium, this is the denser and this is the rarer. Both the cases I am showing it to you. Now if you see, in this case, when the light is passing from rarer to denser medium. What is happening here? Light is moving towards the normal. And in this case, denser to rarer, it is going away from the normal. I will give you a very simple, easy trick. How to remember this? See, it's not that much tough that you cannot remember it. But I'm giving you the trick itself by which you can recall it very, very easily. You not have to think for a minute or for a second. So remember a word, which is a very simple word, draw. Correct? Very simple and easy word. Okay? So denser to rarer, when it is moving, it always moves away from the normal. AW means away from the normal. Correct? Denser to rarer, away from the normal. And what is going to be happen when it is passing from rarer to denser towards the norm? Easy, simple, understood this thing. And why this change in a path? Why this is happening if someone asks you? The answer is because of the, when the light is passing from one medium to another medium, we all know that there will be the change in our speed of light. Right? So in air or in vacuum, we know that it is maximum. 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. But as soon as it is coming in some other medium, its speed is going to reduce. Right? And accordingly, which we are going to decide which one is denser, which one is rarer medium. So if a ray of light 
passing normally from one medium to another optical medium, then it does not bend or deviate from its path. Important note. Okay, so when it is falling normally in between the two mediums, so there will be no refraction, there will be no change in path. Easy point, any confusion, any doubt if you are having, definitely you can ask it to me in the comment boxes. Okay, fine. Now, the next thing which we are talking about, due to change in the speed of light as it enters from one medium to another medium, there will be the change in a path. So if you see fast medium, slow medium, now this confusion may also arises in your mind that sir, which one is rarer, which one is denser? Rarer medium is the medium in which the speed of light is more in comparison to the other medium. Okay. And denser medium is something where the speed of light is less in comparison to the another medium. So that's how we are deciding it. Some illusions which we are able to see that is happening because of the because of the refraction. And why this is happening? Again, the same concept. This is the concept where what is happening, you can also do this. Take a beaker, fill it with a water and place a coin. So what you are able to observe there, coin ki jo position hai, wo thodi upar dikhegi aapko. Actual position nahi aap measure kar paoge. And that same thing is happening here. This is the actual position, but where we are able to see it at this position. This is happening, you can see there, because of refraction. Because of refraction. So here we are obtaining the image, which we can say that this is a apparent image. This is the real image. This is the apparent image. And don't worry about it. In the next class, we are definitely going to come up with a concept that how to measure this real and apparent depth. If apparent depth is given, how you can calculate the real depth? If real depth is given, how you can calculate the apparent depth? Okay, and they both are related to the refraction. Same thing is happening here in this example. So you can do this with the example of a coin. You can do this with the example of a pen or pencil. It looks like that pen is always a straight, pencil is always a straight when you are putting it inside the water and you're looking at it from the upside Aapko lagega, beach se wo slant hai. Beach se wo bend ho hai pencil. Which is not happening. Right? Aur wo aisa dikh raha hai kyon? Because of the refraction. So ye illusions humko dikhte hai refraction ki wajah se. So that's all. That's a very small concept. Aur I hope aap sabko achche se samaj mein aage hooga. Is still koi confusion, koi bit out aapke mind mein hai. We are here to help you. And definitely we are going to meet again in the next class also. So till then, take care of yourself. Bye bye students.